Hi guys, today I'm going to show you guys some kits from SCT Delivered, which is the company that also creates Scrapbooking Cards Today magazine. They sent me these kits as well as this magazine for me to show you guys and to work with for some of the work that I do for that magazine. So if you're interested in seeing what comes in the Life in Pockets winter kit or the Sleigh Bell scrapbook kit for winter of 2017, keep on watching. I'm going to show you the contents of both of those. So I'm going to start by showing you guys the Life in Pockets kit because it's new to me. I've never received the Life in Pockets kit. Look, I have an extra copy of the magazine that I will give away to somebody, so that's very nice. So let's open up this Life in Pockets kit and see what comes with it. So let's see, we have what I love about the SCT Delivered kits is that they always have this handout that includes a list of the kit contents, which is, well, it's really great if you're a YouTuber or a blogger and you like to keep track or need to keep track of all of the things that you use. But what's really nice about it is that it gives you some sample layouts and spreads that you can actually recreate these with the items in the kit. And so it's really great if you're a beginner, but also if you're somebody, maybe a seasoned scrapbooker who's just starting pocket pages, or if it's been a while since you've scrapbooked and you're kind of not feeling like you have a whole lot of creative mojo on hand to, to scrapbook, you can just kind of copy this and uh, it gives you step-by-step -step directions right here. And there is no shame in copying whatsoever because look at how beautiful these layouts are. And you have all the supplies in the kit to recreate them. So I really love that about this kit. So Let's see. So first of all, I was really surprised to see this in floating around in my box. This is the Becky Higgins Good Times kit. I love the black and white cards. They almost have a chalkboard look to them. Well, not I shouldn't even say almost. They do. They have a chalkboard look to them. Whoops. So there are 180 cards in here. There is a look at some of them. So I'm not going to have time to show you guys all of them because there are a lot. So here are the four by six cards. I'm just gonna spread them out, like fan them out in my hand so that you can get a sense of some of the designs that come in this kit. Some of them are, you know, pretty Well, almost all of them has some have some sort of label or spot for you to put a title or a caption, and some of them have lots of space for writing. So there's one side of them, and then the flip side has, you know, more options. And it looks to me that the ones that are, so this one has just a vertical version of the same. This one has a vertical version of the same. It looks like all of them are like that. Yeah. And then for these journaling ones, there are different, completely different options. So these are really, really beautiful. I love them. And you do get multiples of each design with the Becky Higgins kits. And I know there are some people who like that and some people who don't like that. I personally really like the freedom that I get knowing that I have multiples of each card. I don't mind cutting them up or covering them up and that sort of thing when I know that I have three or four more. And that way I might, for example, just decide to use this one as a border or I might, you know, die cut this black part to have like this blackboard look and I don't have to worry about sacrificing that card. I can still use another version of that card for something else. So here are the three by four cards, or half of them anyways. It looks like these ones are, oh, they're not all titles, but. So there's lots of filler cards. These are some of the designs. And then on the other side, we have 
more filler cards, and also some journaling spots. So here's the second set of 3x4s. We have lots of phrases in this set and designs. And then the other side includes more journaling options. And these are so nice and basic. I love the black and white designs. They're the kind of thing that you can use over and over and over again and it's not going to feel old or boring or repetitive. So I'm really, really pleased to have this kit. Woohoo! I can't wait to use it. Excellent. So what else comes in the Life in Pockets kit? So we have a set of Cartabella enamel dots. The collection is Cabin Fever. I take everything out of its packages when I'm de-kitting because it helps me use things. It, it's very helpful for me to have things out. So there's a set of Romance by Simple Stories die cuts, and here are the, the images that come in it. I'm not going to show you every single one of them because, as I said, it would take way too long, but I just want to give you a sense of the kind of die cuts that are included, the quality, and so on. Oh, there are some really cute little heart die cuts here, outline hearts, as well as solid hearts. Oh, this reminds me of little jelly bean soup journaling spots. Some phrases and words and banners. Really beautiful. Then we have a set of Dear Lizzie chipboard letter stickers. This is one of my favorite sets of chipboard letter stickers. I love these with the black and then the dots on the white part. So nice, they look like they're dipped. And have sprinkles on top. They're so pretty. Then we have four page protectors. They're Becky Higgins branded page protectors. We have a design C, which is just the, the six four by six pockets right there. And then we have a design A, which is your classic. Actually, well, wait a minute. We have we actually have six page protectors. We have two design A, two design C, and then we have two 12 by 12 page protectors. These ones are from American Crafts. Then we have some cut aparts from Simple Stories, also from the Romance Collection. This one has three by four cut aparts. And then on the other side, we have this really cute pattern of open hearts. This is so nice. And then we have these 4x6 cut aparts. Really love this one. Loves me, loves me not. So cute. And I like that. I like them all. And then the other side has this really pretty green. It's like a really soft green with a white outline of a floral. So pretty. Then we have some 12 by 12 pattern paper that can be cut down into cards or used as full 12 by 12. This one is also from Simple Stories Romance. It has this really beautiful flower, floral. And then on the other side, we have this rose-colored uh, background with pink script writing on it. More scripty writing, this time on, it looks like a watercolor paper background with some watercolor blooms in it. Really beautiful. That's lovely. Then the other side has this really nice uh, bold pattern. Not bold, but it's kind of a um, like an outline design of a floral on a pink background. And then look at this. This is so pretty. I love this. 
That would look really nice cut out or outlined or something. So pretty. Also from Simple Stories Romance. So, so far all of these were from Simple Stories Romance. I love the wood background of this one too. It's like a wood that has been painted pink and then and then distressed or aged. And then the flip side is all of these postcards with writing on them. Then we have a couple of Cabin Fever papers from Cartabella. And Cartabella paper is a little bit heavier than some other brands and it has a bit of a, of a texture to it. It's almost more like a cardstock than a pattern paper. And we have these cut aparts with this adorable bear on it. It says friends make everything bearable. These are all three by four cut aparts and I really adore this cross stitched pattern. It looks almost like a sweater or a cross stitch. So pretty. And look at the little bear going down a hill. That's so cute. These have a really nice masculine sense feel to them that's different than the preceding papers. The flip side is this chocolate brown cross stitched or knitted pattern with the poinsettia type of flower. Really pretty. I think this would make a really beautiful mat for your photos and, and whatnot. Then we have some strips of design from that collection as well from Cabin Fever. We've got some little trees and snowflakes and more cross stitchy type of, types of things. And those would look nice as bands across your across your cards or little borders and strips and so on. And then on the other side we have this, it almost looks like snowflakes at night because they're light blue on a navy blue background. So pretty, this is beautiful. Then also from Cabin Fever we have some 4x6 cut aparts. And then on the other side, oh my goodness, I love this paper. This is a white painted wood, a photorealistic painted wood paper, and I adore this. I love, love, love it. Definitely going to use that. Then we have, this almost looks like a framed chalkboard, and it's so pretty. I love it. Oh, it's really, really nice. This is from Welcome Home from Cartabella, so it's a different collection, but I really like that they included that. The flip side has this pattern that's like a navy blue with a light green colored floral on it, but I really like this side better. And then we have some wooden toboggans, and this is also from Cabin Fever. The other side, it, it looks, it kind of looks like wood planks, but it's not photorealistic. It's more printed. There we go. And then a really cute plaid. It's also from Welcome Home and a wood grain, like parquet flooring type of look. And again, this one also isn't photorealistic. It's more of a printed, like an illustrated or printed, I don't know, the one that isn't photorealistic, the opposite of that. I don't know what the term is for it. So I can't wait to use this kit. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so much fun. So that is the Life in Pockets kit. I love that that kit has a wintry theme, but it's not so themed that you have to use it at Christmas time or in the holidays. You can definitely, it will be useful in, you know, the fall and winter seasons. Oh, these are so nice. Okay, I'm, I'm getting distracted by how cute the kit is. Let's uh, pull out some of this stuff. So. Like the Life in Pages kit, the uh, SCT Delivered Scrapbook Kit also comes with this really nice full co color insert. And in this case, it comes with an extra insert here as well. So we get the list of all of the kit contents right here. And a little message from SCT Delivered. And then we have some double page and single page and card layout examples of things that you can create with this kit. So again, if you're feeling like you don't have enough creative mojo or you're not feeling terribly inspired, you can use this to get yourself started scrapbooking or you can you can use this alone to do all of your scrapbooking with this kit. So, oh my goodness, I love this. What a great idea. December documented as like a 12 by 12 page to be facing a page that is Oh, that's so nice. 
Uh, Nicole is such a wonderful, they're all wonderful designers. Uh, so we get some ideas inside of this and then on the flip side we have some bonus kit materials and these are things that you could cut out or they're also um, printables that you can get online so that you can print these up in different sizes if you wanted and on your own paper if you didn't want it to be on this kind of glossy uh, shiny paper and then these are the cut files that come in the in the kit as well so you could either cut these out or go online and print them up yourself and then cut them and then these are the cut files so you'll see that one right here so this December documented is right here very nice and then we have a page of sketches so there are three sketches here and then there are some uh, layouts as well we always have a couple of cards and envelopes in this kit so that you can make cards as well as scrapbook pages with it. So we get two card blanks and two envelopes for that. Oh my goodness, this kit comes with so much. Are they adding more to this kit than usual? Or has it always been this big? I don't know. It seems like there's more. Okay. So here we go. We have some cardstock. We get two pieces of gray. This is basil. We get two pieces of blue, like a light blue. Oh, that's so pretty. We get two pieces of white. There we go. We get a piece of dark blue and a piece of pink. And this is that, that Swiss dot. Basil cardstock. I hope you can see that texture. So, a really big assortment of cardstock comes with this kit. And then let's have a look at the papers. We've got from Falala from Crate Paper. We have this paper with Falala la 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 all over it. I love this paper. And then the flip side is pink with red trees all over it. So pretty. I love this. This is one of my favorite papers in that collection. Then this one has what looks like cute little cutout trees all over it. So cute. And then the flip side has this pattern. It looks like a stitched or something. And that's how it looks from a distance. Then we have a Perfect Winter by Lori Whitlock. This is from Echo Park. And look at those bold colors. Oh, this is so fun. I love this paper. And then the other side has white with red dots all over it. So pretty. And then look at all of these. This is this is from Sweater Weather from American Crafts. Look at all of this, these winter clothing items. So cute. And then the flip side is this gorgeous, gorgeous plaid. So pretty. Then we have from A Perfect Winter, we have these beautiful overlapping snowflakes. They're so pretty. I love this paper. And then another really pretty and intricate plaid pattern. So nice. Then from December Days from Pink Fresh Studio, we have this loopy light, two loopy light strings with birds sitting on them. And then on the other side, we have pink with white dots all over it. And I also wanted to mention that Pink Fresh Paper is also heavier duty than some other kinds. Then we have also from A Perfect Winter, we have this red piece with all of these white phrases and snowflakes all over it. So pretty. This would be beautiful as a pattern paper, but also you could cut out some of these little patterns, some of these little phrases if you are so inclined. And then, wow, the next page is beautiful. I love nice winter themed geometric prints. You don't see a whole lot of geometrics during the holidays. You see a lot of snowflakes and uh, and stars and stuff, but this is really nice. I like these hexagons. They're elongated hexagons and they're really pretty. I love those. I like the color scheme too. I love that pop of red paired with those light blues. So pretty. And we have some cut aparts here from Pink Fresh in a variety of different sizes and shapes. The flip side are these presents. Oh, 
Again, you could cut those out or use it as a pattern. Then here we have some snowflakey looking cross-stitchy types of <laughs> designs on a blue background. It's an interesting blue, I like it. It's a, a bit of a greeny blue. I like it. Then the flip side has all of these labels that you could easily cut out. Did I mention this paper's from Sweater Weather? You could cut these out or use it as an interesting pattern paper. Then we have my very favorite Pink Fresh Studio December Days paper of all. I think I mentioned this before. I do have this paper already, but I'm so pleased to have another piece of it because it is my favorite. I love this little tree amongst all of these. I would love to cut these strips out and use them all over the world. <laughs> I just love them so much. I love all the trees, but I especially love how this one stands out among the other ones. Really pretty. Oh, by the way, the other side, it does have another side, <laughs> which is all of these colorful snowflakes on a white background. But who am I kidding? I'm going to use this up. Then for letter stickers for this kit, we have these puffy letter stickers from American Crafts. They're called Cloud, and they are a tall, skinny block font, uppercase. There are some ampersands and exclamation points with this font. Then we have some die cuts from Pink Fresh Studio. Oops, all the little golden stars are falling out. I think I've shown these before, so if you follow my channel, you might not you might already be familiar with these, but they have gold foil accents on them. They do have a whole bunch of these little gold stars that you can see on my table here. I will just hold up an assortment of them for you, just to get a sense of the quality and how they look in real life. These are all of the designs that come in the package and what I really love about these die cuts is that there's a variety of sizes so we've got some larger scale items like these tags uh, but we also have some tiny little things like the stars and flowers and snowflakes and stuff. So are these must be American Crafts Twinkle Stars because there's two of them in the kit so that must be what those are. And then <clears throat> Fa -la -la Snowflakes there's two of them as well. They're really cute. I love those. We have some... Oh, there's a little sequin inside of there. We have some Pink Fresh Studio enamel dots in lots of beautiful colors that coordinate with the kit. We have some foil labels, Yuletide labels. These are from Pink Paisley. And some of them are gold and some of them are red. They're really pretty. We have a stamp set that includes a snowflake and winter, merriest moments, some stars, joy to the world. <clears throat> Pardon me. And then let's see what's in here. <gasps> winter traditions. Oh my goodness. I love this big enamel piece. It's so pretty. Oh, I love it. Winter Traditions. What else is in here? Let's see. I'm going to kind of dump it out into my hand here. Ooh. So we have some really cute chipboard snowflakes that you can do something with in terms of using some mixed media. You could paint them, you could mist them, you could do all sorts of things. They're, right now they're like a raw chipboard. Then we have two adorable little buttons that look like snowflakes. So cute. We have a flare badge that looks like a candy, like a peppermint candy. And we have some paper clips and sequins, which I'm just going to put in my hand like this. I love this kit. I love that it is wintry, and I think I'm actually going to hang on to this kit and use it as my post-holiday winter scrapbooking kit. 
Uh, the majority of the snow that we get in my part of the world tends to take place from January to April. And so uh, most of my snow oriented scrapbooking is actually not Christmas. So I'm going to hang on to this kit until January and scrapbook some nice beautiful winter memories that aren't necessarily Christmas memories. So thanks so much for watching this unboxing video. I hope that you found it helpful if you're thinking about buying either the uh, Life in Pockets kit or the Sleigh Bells scrapbook kit. I hope that this helped you get a sense of what's included in the kit and whether it might be for you. So take care and have a really great scrappy week. Let me know what you think about these kits by leaving me a comment below. You can also find the links to these kits in the information section below. Please subscribe and check out these other videos if you'd like to see more from me. Take care and have a really great scrappy week.